Hi friends, Clayton Phillips here again from Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. And I'm really excited because I get to shoot a brand new floor plan, one that I haven't shot yet. Uh, this is a brand new 2020 Grand Design RV Imagine 2450 RL. There are a lot of things that I love about what Grand Design has done with this layout, folks. This is not a new floor plan to the industry, but it's a proven floor plan. But the beautiful thing about Grand Design and the way they build things and the way that they look at uh, their, their floor plans is they may take a floor plan that was developed by another manufacturer, but they enhance it. They take it to the next level. And uh, that's what Grand Design has done with this particular floor plan, folks. This layout here is 29 feet, 11 inches in length from hitch to rear wall. So again, with the amount of storage that this floor plan has will blow you away on the inside. This has got the amount of storage that a lot of the bigger trailers have, the bigger travel trailers uh, in a trailer that's sub 30 feet. This is not a bunk model. This is a couple's unit. So if you're looking for something under 30 feet with a ton of storage, easy towability, uh, all of the things that Grand Design does in terms of quality and fit and finish and all of those things, this one may be right for you. So we're gonna jump into it. I know, I know I'm gonna talk a lot like I do on all the videos. We're gonna get into build and construction and all of those things. We're gonna start up front here. So again, Grand Design, fully painted front caps, folks. The beautiful thing about a fully painted front cap, if you've seen the, uh, the less expensive caps in the industry, a lot of them are just gel coat caps and they start to discolor and fade uh, as time goes on. With the paint on the front cap, it greatly reduces the chances of that happening. The other thing, thing that Grand Design uses is a 3M graphic. It has a higher UV coating on it. It's a better graphic. It's, it comes with a five year warranty. Uh, so they really put, uh, they, they invest some money, extra money into their graphic because they want the trailers they produce to look better a lot longer. You know, you're making a big investment and uh, you want it to look good for as long as you, as you can. They have also integrated the LED light strips down the front cap as well, which makes it look really, really nice. So again, this is a structure cap too. So they put hard edges built right into that front cap so that when it goes on, it goes on square. That's one of the advantages to Grand Design is the way they manufacture with the fully laminated vertical walls, structure caps that they use. Their products are built square, which is absolutely fantastic. They're gonna tow better, all of those things. Outside storage, Grand Design's known for their outside storage folks. So they were the first manufacturer to develop the drop frame uh, pass-through storage in a travel trailer. They wanted to create fifth wheel like storage. This gives you 47 cubic feet of pass-through storage. Uh, it's one of the largest in the industry, which is really nice. And how they achieve that is typical RV floor in a travel trailer. This is where your main floor uh, basically is. And in most products, the main floor carries across to the front of the trailer. And that's where your, your storage compartment bottoms out. What Grand Design did was they went drop frame off of the A-frame, which typically sits lower than your main chassis rails. And so what they've done is they've given you a bunch more storage. You know, camping gear today is so much more bigger. Uh, it's so much bigger these days. It's oversized and you want to be able to pack it. I'm an RV or two and it's very often where I will fill a compartment like this. And with a lot of other products in the industry, you're going to be laying stuff on the floor inside the trailer just because you don't have the space on the outside to hold all the gear. Other things dual motion sensor lighting on the inside of your compartment, one on each side, which is nice. So you open up the baggage door at night. If you have it set to motion sense, the light will automatically turn on and off. Um, Grand Design also, they wanna come alongside you. They want, wanna help you winterize your trailer. So they give you a nice diagram there on how to winterize your, your new travel trailer. They're one of the only manufacturers that does that. Uh, go on the extra step, you know, that, that costs money to do it, to make that sticker. It doesn't add a lot, but it's something that they do to help your experience be that much better. Also, aluminum tubing, fully bead welded together, very strong, very lightweight. Um, you know, they're going the extra step. As well as your enclosed utility compartment, you have your outside shower here. Underneath this blue coiled hose, you have a, a porthole access that you can run your fresh water line up through. Perfect size for your, uh, your half inch water line to hook up to your city water connection, which is right here. Uh, outside shower, hot and cold tap. Fresh tank fill, so if you're hooked up to your city water connection and you wanna fill up your fresh water tank, you just flip, flip this blue lever here, it'll automatically fill up your 52 gallon fresh water capacity battery disconnect switch so you can kill the, the 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 power draw on the battery between trips 
110 plug and then you've got your coax cable if you want to bring a portable satellite dish with you those sorts of things so one of the updates for the all new 2020 they've done some things one thicker slam latch baggage doors so slam latch door this is a metal latch versus a plastic latch and it's a much thicker door than what they were using before so very very well insulated very solid door uh, they're spending the money to get to, to get that done for you we're going to shoot up underneath the trailer here and i'm just going to show you the fully enclosed and heated underbelly on all of their imagine products folks they fully enclose if you notice uh, you've got some uh, a blue hose and a, a red hose those are low point drains you've got your t-handle there your valve to drain those tanks is up inside of the heated underbelly grand design is spray foaming around all of the openings to help prevent critters from getting up inside help keep the heat inside because this is a fully heated basement as well you have an r30 right through your entire floor and with the imagine product they actually uh, duct your heat down off of your furnace it's not radiant heat off of a heat plenum and we'll talk a little bit more about that inside because grand design does not put heat registers in their floor okay appliances your hot water heater six gallon tank 17.8 gallon quick recovery with both gas and electric on at the exact same time so you can hop in husband and wife one can hop in have a quick five six minute shower then the other one can hop in and have a nice shower too you're not waiting for that hot water tank to heat up completely because uh, you discharge it completely 35,000 BTU furnace folks with the uh, with the Imagine products. They try to limit the amount of furnaces they, they use uh, depending on the brands. And so they use the 35,000 BTU furnace, which is the same size furnace you get in a, you know, $100,000 solitude as well. So uh, outdoor light here as well for, you know, dumping your tanks in the evening, those sorts of things, and then a detachable power cord. So again, doing all the right things with Grand Design folks. We're gonna come down the side here. I'm going to touch on a couple of things uh, that Grand Design does um, that you won't find with a lot of other manufacturers. One thing, sealant on a trailer is very important, okay? And Grand Design does not use butyl putty anywhere on their trailers. Butyl putty, if you've seen it, you've done your RV shopping, you're an experienced RVer, you've seen it ooze out around where the windows go in, where the corner moldings go on. And over time, what will happen is that butyl putty will dry out and it will expose cracks where moisture intrusion can get in. And Grand Design has eliminated uh, butyl putty. In fact, I don't think they've ever used butyl putty on any of their trailers. Um, but behind this cap, this cap edge here, you'll find a product called Mylar Tape Seal. And Mylar Tape Seal is the sealant that they put on underneath this cap. It wraps from the, let's say in this example, from the rear wall to the side wall, sealing in the edge. Butyl putty comes in strips. So they do a strip here and a strip here, but it doesn't necessarily completely seal in the edge. And with butyl putty only having a six month shelf life, the sun, the wind beating down on it will over time develop cracks and that's where moisture intrusion can get in. Grand Design has prevented that from happening. Mylar tape seal doesn't have a shelf life. Mylar goes on, cap seal goes on. The screws that hold this, this, this cap edge on go into, that's a steel screw going into an aluminum tube stuffed with a wood dowel. Very important, a lot of manufacturers do not. That's why they're lighter weight. If you were to compare a Grand Design floor plan, the exact same floor plan to a competitor and they're lighter weight, there's a good chance, there's, there's, there's reasons why. Grand Design typically, if you're to compare floor plans, are usually a little heavier than the comparable floor plan built by another manufacturer because they're putting the structure in. And a lot of those things you just cannot see. The wood dowel stuffed in the aluminum tube is one of those things because you want that steel screw supported by a wood dowel within that aluminum tube because if you didn't, as your trailer flexes and stresses going down the highway, it will start to you know open that, that, that screw hole up a little bit. A squeak might develop, a rattle might develop, uh, moisture intrusion because your trailer's flexing more okay the other thing that they do is they put a silicone cap seal over top of this as well and it's very faint you can't see it uh, very well on the on the video here but they put that silicone cap seal on so the nice thing with the mylar tape seal is if this silicone cap seal was to give way if moisture got in there it's not going to permeate into the wall because it wraps that mylar wraps from one side to the other and this becomes a raceway for the moisture to drain out so grand design again folks is going the extra step the extra mile they want your investment to stand the test of time i know i spent a lot of time on that uh, but that's where they're at uh, the structure of the trailer they were the first manufacturer to come out with a three-year structural warranty the difference is is that they built their products to support 
their warranty, okay? And that means every vertical wall panel on the trailer is fully laminated, okay? Very, very solid, very important. That helps build a very squarely built trailer. Um, it helps just with the longevity of the product. They use uh, block foam insulation versus a spun fiberglass insulation that you find with some of the other fiberglass trailers that may have a laminated main wall, but then a rear hung wall and rear hung or side uh, hung walls on the slide outs. Grand Design, we're gonna hop up on the roof here shortly, st uh, walk on slide boxes as well. That roof panel in the slide out uh, is fully laminated just like the side wall is. So I know I'm spending a lot of time on that, but very, very important. A lot of trailers, they make them look good, but they're not nearly built as well as something like this. So coming down the entry side of this trailer, folks, with the Grand Design 2450 RL, um, you've got a 21 foot power awning. So on a travel trailer, that's about the largest power awning you can get right now. Um, it's got the Solaire awning, so it's very easy to adjust. It's just a reach up and pull down if you want to adjust the roller tube uh, to, your, to your awning. So if you want to, you know, if it's starting to rain a little bit, you can adjust so the water will run off to the either side. Or if the sun starts to drop down a little bit and you want to have more shade coverage, you can just go over to that other arm there and pull that down. So very, very easy to use. Uh, you're not having to pull down, tighten knobs, uh, or get a, get a step ladder to uh, you know, push buttons to adjust the awning. So really, really nice that way. The other thing with this trailer, folks, is it does, doesn't have a full outdoor kitchen, but they do give you the, the, uh, the added uh, exterior refrigerator, which is kind of nice which, with, with some storage. You do have a barbecue quick connect down here. So this would be a perfect area to set up your outdoor cook space. They do give you the spray port. Uh, here as well so if you want to you know get your coil blue hose out plug that in there you can wash some dishes and clean up and do those sorts of things which makes it really really nice one of the added features for this year folks is they did add the coax cable connection so if you wanted to run a television outside put your favorite sporting event on do a tailgate or whatever uh, you know suits your fancy you can definitely do that with this trailer okay running gear with the, uh, with the Imagine product. Grand Design uses the Dexter towing system. With the Dexter towing system, you get that five year warranty on your axles. It has a never adjust brake and then an easy lube hub. The thing that I love about the easy lube hub folks is you can pull this silver cap off. You can hook up a grease gun to this. You lift this side of the trailer so the tires are in the air and right in your own driveway, you can do a full wheel bearing repack, saving yourself hundreds of dollars. And how you do that was with the grease gun on the, on, the, on the end of the hub here, you can cycle the new grease in, it shoots it down a center cylinder, cycles it back around from the back of the hub, pushing the old grease out around the end of the grease gun. Once you see that new grease come out as you're spinning the tire, that's how, it, how you get it. Um, Dexter has a really, really good video on their website and I encourage you to watch it. Uh, that basically goes through how, how to do it. Um, and again, they're saving yourself, uh, you know, hundreds of dollars doing, you can do a wheel bearing repack right in your own driveway. Uh, the other thing, Grand Design, they're very cognizant. They want to have a nice stable trailer, but they don't want to tax your axles and your tires when you jackknife your trailer to back it up. There are some products in the industry, folks, where they do a full, like an, a super wide stance axle system. And depending on the product, the weight, the axles that they use, we've actually seen it where people go to back their trailers into the campsite and literally bend an axle because the torque on the two wheels is so great um, that it causes that issue. Plus you can get inaccurate tire wear and those sorts of things. So uh, with Grand Design, they go a little far apart, but not too far apart because they don't want you to, you know, uh, sacrifice the, the structure of your axles and those sorts of things. So uh, they're doing the right things. Also Westlake Lions Head Tire, five-year warranty 12 months no questions asked replacement radial tire which is good on this particular floor plan folks they do give you the solid step that solid step does fold up right inside the trailer so it gives a nice clean look on the outside it's unbelievably solid when you're walking in and out of the trailer this upper step is a little bit wider which is nice so you got a really good platform if you're carrying you know a laundry hamper full of food or what have you into the trailer uh, which makes it good. Also Grand Design, they put a wider door on as well. A lot of manufacturers to save money, they go to a, a, a narrower door. The really nice thing about a wider door, folks, is that you're not gonna wrap your knuckles off the door frame when you're carrying those larger items in and out. Plus it's a taller door. The other thing they give you, lend a hand grab handle they do that on all of their products folks because they want you to be able to be safe really nice solid grab handle you know entering and exiting the trailer okay 
Couple other uh, uh, specification things for you. Again, I mentioned 52 gallon fresh water capacity. This particular trailer has a 90 gallon gray water capacity. So that's gonna be achieved with two separate gray tanks. And then they boosted their black tank. It used to be 39 gallons. You're up to 45 gallons with your black tank. So if you're into doing dry camping, um, you know, you've got a ton of capacity uh, with this particular trailer. Um, storage, appliances, tanks, your furnace, your hot water heater, they are going the extra step, the extra mile, which is really, really nice. So again, we're just gonna shoot in here on the, uh, the pass-through storage compartment. Unbelievable pass-through storage on the 2450 RL Imagine. Okay, R values, we're gonna talk a little bit about that insulation factor. R40 through your roof, down your front cap, R7 in your sidewall, R30 all the way through your floor. So for the, the, the segment that this particular trailer sits in and competes with, it's industry leading folks. Your furnace isn't gonna cycle on and off nearly as much. Um, it's gonna heat up a whole lot quicker. It's gonna stay cooler when it's uh, hot outside. They're really doing all the right things. So we're gonna hop up on the roof of this trailer and uh, show you some things up top. All right, friends, we're up on the roof of this 2450 RL Imagine. And yes, I said I'm on the roof. Buyer beware, there are a lot of products out there in the industry that do not have walk-on roofs within this segment um, that the Imagine competes with, okay? Grand Design, every single trailer they build has a full walk-on roof. Why? Several things. One, they want you to be able to go up on the roof to sweep off the top of your slide out before you bring it in. If you've been camping in the woods, you get some leaves or pine needles or a little tree branch falling down on top, you don't wanna be sucking that into your slide out uh, seals, okay? Uh, the other thing, if you got to do some roof sealant touch up on your RV, they want you to be able to climb up there with a tube of Dicor and do some touch ups if necessary. Those, those are some of the maintenance things that you have to take care of when you, when you buy an RV. Doesn't matter what RV it is. There are a lot of products in the industry, folks, that are lighter weight. I mentioned that earlier. Uh, and in order to service some of the products that do not have a walk on roof uh, without a ladder on the back, that's one of the main indicators it tells you potentially is you got to feel for the studs. You're looking for the studs to walk on. Uh, if you got to, you know, move around a bit more, sometimes we got to lay sheets of plywood up top to help distribute that weight evenly. So with that, with Grand Design, snow load roof, folks. Like this roof, 16 inch on center, wood truss, has a much higher tensile strength than an aluminum truss that you find with some of the other products in the industry. Screw retention, folks. Every RV has wood decking up on their roof, whether it's a Luan decking with some of the laminated products. Uh, they're using steel screws to hold that wood decking down. Well, with an aluminum tube, if it's got a truss in it, they don't stuff those aluminum tubes with wood dowels to support that screw. So again, um, with a lot of products, folks, over time, what can happen is if you're not supporting a steel screw, especially on an arched roof with a truss, what will happen with an aluminum tube, if you were to walk up here, you can actually have those screws pull out. And then all of a sudden you got a screw poking through the, the, the roof membrane on your trailer, which moisture intrusion and all of those things. So uh, it's a much uh, cooler trailer as well when you have a wood truss, the thermal barrier you get with it. There's so many advantages to the roof that Grand Design uses. And this is the same roof on this imagine that you get on a momentum as a solitude their golden thread of consistency carries throughout all of their products okay I know I've spent a lot of time on that but it's very very important your roof of your trailer is one of the most important structural items you can invest in in an RV okay the other thing Grand Design uses is a ton of sealant lap sealant die core there's several different names for it self-leveling sealant but you can see underneath this 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 layer of sealant um, there's a, a piece of aluminum that basically ties the front cap down to where it transitions to the roof we find with a lot of other manufacturers if you can go up on the roof i encourage you to some of the other manufacturers they'll run a bead of sealant on this side of the aluminum they'll run a bead of on this side of the aluminum and then they'll only cover up where the screws are okay grand design they layer it on thick okay they don't want you to have to worry about your roof sealant when you buy a brand new trailer okay you still have to come up here and deal with the maintenance and check things out you know in the springtime and in the fall and and those sorts of things but folks i'm telling you they layer it on thick okay the other thing grand design does folks 
they put in attic vents in all of their trailers. So that's what this is. This helps your roof breathe. It helps the hot air escape uh, when it's the middle of summer and the sun's beating down and it's super hot out. It helps, uh, you know, get the moisture out. Propane heat out of a furnace has moisture in it. And you want the moisture that can transition through the trailer up into the roof to escape, okay? And so with, with Grand Design, with their R40, you have that unbe unbelievable thermal barrier, but your roof breathes, okay? The other thing Grand Design does, I'm gonna hop down on the top of this slide out here. Uh, full walk-on slide boxes, okay? Put my money where, I'm, where my mouth is, and I'm telling you folks, this is a super strong slide out. And I'm literally, you can hear me, I'm bouncing. And this is, there's no like center supports on the inside of this trailer in the slide out. Um, it's, it's wide open slide out folks, fully laminated roof, block foam insulation, aluminum tubing, fully bead welded, very, very strong. That's what you're getting with Grand Design. That's why they're a little bit more money than the average RV out there. So, I know I've spent a lot of time up here, folks. You can see the amount of roof vents they put in. Overall, they put it on the new uh, WineGuard TV antenna. Uh, it doesn't lift up, look like a T on the roof where the tree branches can gobble it up. It's fully protected. So, you know, a tree branch coming and hitting that isn't, uh, isn't gonna break it, which is really, really nice. Skylight above your shower. So, we're gonna hop down and uh, head inside. So a couple other things before we head inside here, folks. This ladder is unbelievably solid. You can see the connection points going up. Um, this particular fastener here, these steel screws, they don't go into an aluminum tube stuffed with a, a wood dowel, okay? They actually wear, depending on your cabinetry on the inside and in various other locations, these screws are go into a sheet of steel that's laminated within the sidewall. It's not just going into a piece of fiberglass, Luon backer and foam, okay? So Grand Design is very cognizant. Wherever you see an exterior fastener, it's either going into an aluminum tube with stuffed with a wood dowel or into a sheet of steel that's laminated within the wall, okay? So I was thinking of some other things before we head inside, but uh, we're gonna get to it. Um, I, again, I really like what they've done with this layout, folks. Again, enhancing a floor plan that was already developed in the industry. We're gonna come to the back of the trailer. Very common layout. Some of the other manufacturers build it, but like I said, Grand Design is all about going the extra step. So uh, again, you're getting a, a good shot of what the new interior looks like. This is the new Impebble interior. They used to have a black cabinet uh, in, on the inside called Cappuccino Darker Fabrics much darker a lot of people wanted brighter more open all of those things so some of the enhancement that enhancements that I, you know we're seeing with grand design is the dinette slide in this folks compared to the others is gigantic this is a huge dinette if you're like six foot two six foot three you can lay down if you want to transition this into a bed uh, you can lay down it's a nice deep dinette as well which is really really nice lots of flexibility with it also it's their convertible dinette so what I would call a lounge dinette. So you notice they put the back cushions underneath the window, okay? The center U portion of this dinette is an ottoman. That piece right there behind the table, you can take that out with the cushion and you can put it on the end of the table. That's one of the things that's beautiful about this dinette is that you can sit a lot of large people around this dinette. U-shaped dinettes in the industry give you lots of butt space but not a lot of foot space. Okay, so for the people that want to have lots of foot space, if you're playing cards and you got five or, you know, five or six people around this dinette, you can do it with that removable ottoman and you just place it on the, on the floor on the other end of this table. Not to mention, you know, this is a high-low table. You can use it as a coffee table. You could take it outside. It will drop down into a coffee table size. That's what, you know, you flip it down to make it into a bed as well. But that tabletop, folks, is huge. So you can get two, a few, you know, a few place settings across from each other. Lots of room to uh, to spread out. Also, windows on the slide end walls. Great big windows. Grand Design frames in all their window openings. One of the things that they do that they did for the new body style. MCD roller shades here. Blackout. They wanted to get away from the night shades with the strings that stretch out. The little buttons pull out of the wall sometimes. So they wanted to get away from that. Very smooth. Very nice blind that they're putting in nowadays. Again, lighter fabrics. Your theater seating is standard in this floor plan, so you've got the heat and massage uh, on this and fully recline. And the beautiful thing is it's right across 
from your entertainment area as well. So that TV's on a pivot, you can pull it out and adjust it if you want, but you're looking directly at your television, which is really nice. The other really nice thing about this layout, folks, is that when the slide out is fully retracted, you can get to your pantry, you can get to your fridge, you can get to your microwave, your oven and range, all your counter space to be able to prep a meal. You've got tons of storage here. Okay, big pots and pans drawer. They've added this new cool little feature with these, this pegboard in the bottom so you can position and set up your, your uh, pots and pans so that they're not sliding around and just you can pack them in there a little bit nicer. They didn't give up. They're still taking care of our four-legged friends, our puppies. We love them, want to bring them. So you got the, the, the pet dish that slides out of the way. But you can see newer, you know, more of a contemporary style cabinet door folks and, and hardware that they're using. Uh, they did a ton of research and hearing from RV owners what they wanted and, and I think they've just absolutely nailed the interior of the new Imagine. So I hope you like it. Comment on the, uh, on the video what you think of the new interior. Very bright, all LED lighting on the interior. Again, they didn't go away from the single basin sink. So you can actually hide a frying pan in there and dinner plates. And if you don't want to have to do the dishes right away, unlike the split sinks, if you don't want to use as much water, just get a Rubbermaid container. You can put that in the base of the sink and it seems to work pretty good that way. Again, Grand Design, I'll show you something, folks. A lot of manufacturers, what they'll do is they'll eliminate the shelf on the inside of the cabinet. Grand Design, they add shelves. So double the amount of storage, okay? So what you get, they did a really nice job with the two-tone style cabinet doors here too really nice okay ducted roof air conditioning it's the coleman mock super efficient air conditioner uh, unlike some of the other models out there uh, right by your entry door here i'll show you folks you've got a, a pantry here as well probably easier if i go this way so great big pantry right at your entrance door for all your food and whatnot again this trailer folks 29 feet 11 inches in length tons and tons of storage for a trailer under 30 feet uh, which is great. So uh, the other thing, your bathroom is directly across from your entrance door. There's a pocket door here or a sliding door versus a swing door. So getting in and out of your bathroom is a whole lot nicer. You've got the double vanity here. So great big storage. It's not just a mirror screwed to the wall. All your cabinet framing folks is completely screwed together. Uh, it's a lumber core cabinet uh, with a veneer wrap around it. Anywhere your cabinetry mounts to the exterior wall of a grand design, like I mentioned, you've got that sheet of steel laminated within the sidewall. But look at these drawers, huge drawers, nice and deep. They give you three, a lot of bathrooms, that's where manufacturers will limit um, is drawers. Cost money with the ball bearing drawer glides, all those things. You even get storage above your toilet here. So lots and lots of space. Lots of storage. Towel rack there, already mounted. Nautilus P1, um, sorry, Nautilus uh, shower curtain. What's neat about the shower curtain, folks, is when it gets wet, when you retract it, uh, the moisture goes into this roller, it squeegees it off and it runs it back down into the shower pan, which is nice. Lots of detail. You got the skylight, so if you're a super tall fella, uh, you know, you got the, got the room for your head to go up inside the skylight there. Okay. Coming up into the bedroom here. Uh, again, sliding door, not a swing door. Uh, you've got the drawers on either side of your bed. New padded headboard, folks. You've got the hanging storage. Lots of space. They've got these new lights, which are kind of sweet. Uh, you've got a brighter light here, and then you can go to the blue style light for at night. Uh, if you like just a little bit of light at night, which is kind of cool. Uh, residential size beds in all of their products, folks. So 60 wide by 80 long. If the mattress isn't quite right for you and you need to get a mattress topper, you can go to Costco or you can go to any of the, one of these other places and, and get a residential size mattress topper. Uh, it's going to fit the same dimensions. It's not going to hang off the side. Your fitted sheets are going to go around it a whole lot nicer, uh, which is nice. And then storage up underneath the bed as well. So we like to put our laundry hampers underneath the beds for our dirty clothes as we go camping and those sorts of things. And then you get an unbelievable wardrobe here as well. So again, like I mentioned outside when I was talking, uh, unbelievable amount of storage in a th sub 30 foot trailer. This trailer here, massive wardrobe. There's a motion sensor lighting up inside here as well. So if it's at night, you open it up, the light will automatically turn on. And then you've got great big drawers here as well. So again, folks, my name's Clayton Phillips. I'm with Woody's RV World in Leduc, Alberta, Canada. We have seven locations. 
uh, in Western Canada. Five of them are in Alberta. We're all Grand Design in Alberta. We're exclusive Grand Design RV here at Le Duc dealership where I'm at. That's all we carry. And uh, depending on where you're at, if you can't make it into Leduc, of course, we'd love you to come by. Give us a shot. Get that first-class service. Uh, you'd still get that first-class service at any one of our other locations as well. We have an unbelievable team uh, to serve you better. I'm going to back up for a second because I missed a very important part of this trailer. Fully laminated floor, folks, with no heat ducts on the floor. Okay, heat ducts are traps for dirt and debris. Um, when you're sweeping out the inside of your trailer, Grand Design in the Imagine series uses a one-piece floor. It's a laminated floor. It's a double-stacked plywood, seam staggered, laminated together with the with the insulation uh, block foam insulation, and it's a very rigid, very strong floor in this particular product. But it's lighter weight, which is really really nice. Grand Design ports all of their heat ducts through their cabinetry, and it blows out across the floor. So if you want to run your furnace. As you're going down the highway, which you can if you're doing some colder weather camping, those sorts of things, you don't have to worry about a slide out covering a heat duct. You don't have to worry about a trifold sofa. If you have guests folding out over top of a duct uh, with a heat billowing up underneath, making your guests super hot at night, all of those things, so many advantages to, uh, to having the heat ducts ported through the floor. Or sorry, through the, through the cabinetry through the floor is kind of an old, old school way of doing it. And uh, with Grand Design, of course, you also get the ducted furnace heat. When you see those heat ducts in the floor, that's a radiant heat that heats your tanks, which up in our neck of the woods doesn't do a whole lot. So again, I've thrown enough at you today on this new 2450 RL. Uh, give us a call, 780-986-1234. Gave you a super detailed video on this particular product. Love for you to come by our dealership here in Leduc and have a look. If you can't make it to Leduc, check out one of our other dealerships and uh, give us a shot. Thanks for your time. Take care.